Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my most used features in ClickUp and how I use it for personal use. Okay, so let's just get started. So I love using the home screen of ClickUp. It's just an amazing way to plan your day everything gets organized by the date right here so things that you need to do and then I love that the calendar is right here so I can actually add my google calendar here to see what's going on with that as well and then I can start dragging and dropping and time blocking my day every single day so I love using the home feature here another thing that I always use is my weekly to do my weekly to do is actually the everything space right here. So it brings everything from all of my lists into this board right here. And it makes a weekly vertical layout for me. So I really like using this because it plans my day in a vertical format, which I'm already used to, except it's in a digital form. So I created this board. And the way I did that was I created a new view and it created a board view and then I filtered my task where the due date is the next seven days and then I sorted it by the due date and then also grouped it by the due date. So here you can see things that are due today, tomorrow, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So just for your entire week. So this is my weekly to do and then I pinned this board and favored it so that it's in my favorites menu. I also have the everything board in a master list and I have an automation to categorize um, what the to-dos fall under. So I have a custom field right here called master categories and we have reference info, my business tasks, my sales and marketing, product services, home and family tasks, lifestyle and fun tasks, and personal and self-care tasks. So every time it goes into one of my spaces, it gets automatically categorize. This just lets me see what tasks I have to do in every category. Another way that I use everything tab is the calendar view. So this is just an awesome way to see everything that I have to do in a calendar view. And the way I organized my ClickUp, the color coding, is that almost every item in my personal and home, every list is green. So I know that Everything that's green is personal items. And then everything business is like gray. And then everything in marketing is this dark blue. And then everything in my products and services is brown. So that's how I organize my list. So you can change how you want to show the colors on your calendar view. So you hit this show button and you can color your task by list. So that's why I made my list a certain color so that I can just color code each list. You can also do it by status, but I have a million different statuses and a million different custom fields. So the list was the easiest way to color code my calendar. You can also view it by the week if you want. So you can see like a more detailed list, but I like just using the month. Okay, so now I want to show you guys how I use my ClickUp for personal planning. So I have a section called personal and home. And the folders I have in here are home and family task, meal plans, my personal planner, my wish list, and then important information, a medical, financial, and then the holiday planning, and then trips and vacations. So let me color this green. So I make sure that all of my lists are green so that I can color code it in my everything calendar view. So you can see here, almost every list is green except for personal because I want that to show up as pink. Okay, so first let's go over my home and family task folder. So this is my home and family task folder. So I have home and family tasks. Then we have the fly lady cleaning method. And then we have home projects that I'm working on. And then I created this birthday plan. I usually don't have this, but since my daughter's birthday is coming up, I put that there and then yeah so let's go through each list so this is my home and family task list so i have 
different statuses. So we have to do, to buy, to go, and if it's complete. And I just organize it by status. So we have to go to basketball class every Monday. And then things that I want to buy goes here. So this is like my ongoing shopping list. And I have the store here. And then we have things to do. So I can assign it to myself and I can set a due date. These are just some random things I need to do around the house. And then we have the fly lady cleaning method. So this is one that I just created myself. I took everything from her website. So we have the daily task, the morning routine, the before bed routine, and then we have our weekly tasks. So we have this weekly schedule here for things like what to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I have each zone. So we have daily tasks, baby steps, weekly tasks, zone one, zone, zone three, zone four, and zone five. And then the detailed cleaning list for each of the zones. And I have the dates all set and recurring so that I can make sure I do zone one at the beginning of every week and then zone two the second week, zone three the third week zone four the fourth week and zone five the fifth week so this took a lot of setup but i love having it because you can see this week is zone two my kitchen detailed cleaning list and it was for this entire week and then i finished like half of it and today i have to do the rest because zone two is coming to an end and tomorrow is saturday we're probably going to knock out almost everything today and tomorrow. Yeah, so that is the fly lady cleaning method in my ClickUp. Then we have home projects. So this is a board view. And this is just if we have any big projects that we want to do for the house. So I only have one big project this month. And it was just putting curtains and shelves in the guest bathroom. And then next we have the meal plans. So this was actually a template that I got from a course that I bought. So this is the recipes and meal plan board. So we have salads, sandwiches, tacos, chicken, just all of the different kinds of food, the meal type. So I grouped it by meal type. And then I have my grocery shopping list. So things that I need to buy just pops up here. And then next we have the personal planner. So again, a lot of these are from that course that I bought. I'll put the link down below, but she has some awesome template. So we have books to read, and then we have a self-care section, and then my bucket list. So my bucket list is places to go, places to eat, so recommendations. They will all go here. So I have a custom field that shows location. So if it's abroad, in town, in state, or in the U.S., you can even further categorize it by that. But this is just my bucket list of items that I want to go to. And then I also have a document for my crystals. So I collect crystals and I just want to remember what each crystal is for. It's just like a document. And then I have my makeup collection. So I have all of my lipsticks. So I have the brand. And then I put the colors that I have and I even took a picture of all of my lipsticks just so that when I'm at the store, I know that I already have these colors and don't buy the same kind. And then we have our wish list. Again, this was a template from that course that I bought. And we have a business wish list. So things that I want and then things that I bought for myself already. And then we have a life one. And then and we have personal information. So it's just important information. I haven't really filled this out because I'm still trying to transfer everything, but I thought it would be nice to have it in ClickUp. Just try to keep everything together. So we have all these different statuses. So we have travel and vacation, social. Let me, I like to group it the other way. There we go. So family first, we have each child important information so we have child one and then date age height weight and notes so I like keeping track of my kids height and weight every year so that's a great way to do that and then we have their wish list 
And then we have routines, extracurricular activities, emergency contacts, clothing sizes. So this is just a great way to have all of your information handy in ClickUp. We have home projects, warranties and manuals, safety info, and then confidential is just like all of your accounts and stuff like that. So like for kids accounts, you can put the account name, the username, and a password or the hint for the password. So I just created, I just put it in the description box and made a table here for most of these important things. So let me know if you guys want this as a template. I think it's an awesome way to just put all of your information here. So we have shopping wish list, a shopping list, online order tracker. Then for food, we have recipes and meal plan and then recommendations. So for restaurants, services, books, movies, places to go, kid stuff, makeup. And then we have health and fitness. So your workouts and your self-care. Then for personal, we have makeup collection, nail design ideas, gratitude tracker. For medical, we have medical receipts, medical insurance information. So I have a table for your medical insurance info. And then your providers, the type of doctor, medical group, phone number, address, hospital affiliation, and your date of your last visit. And then symptoms for, you can have symptoms for each person. You can just create a subtask for that. And we have everybody's medical history here. So you write their doctor visits records, dentist visits records, their medical info, and then symptoms tracker so you can make one for each family member and then we have vision pharmacy prescription and then next we have financial so you can put all of your bills in a table here then we have debt revenue tracker expense tracker savings tracker and then we have car information so auto so you can list all of your important information here and then all of the services and repairs that you've done to it and how much it costed so they're all just like tables within each task in the description box. And then we have school, teachers, classmates, school ID numbers, and things like that. And then memberships, we have library card, your Costco card. And then we have social, your party planning, events, date nights, birthdays and anniversaries. And then we have travel and vacation. So travel products, your bucket list, your travel info. So like your flight information, your car rental, your hotel, things like that. And you can just plan it all in ClickUp. So that is just my kind of like my home management binder all within ClickUp. Okay. And then next we have medical. Again, I was using this before I had it in the information section and I categorized it by person, like when our last dentist visit was and things like that. And then we have the holiday planning, which I shared with you guys this in another video so yeah that's how i use it for my personal i hope you guys i hope this helped you guys see how i use clickup for my personal life thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video